and welcome back YouTube. And this time around, in our campaign, we are finally taking on the Lightning Hood. And if you note, yeah, they are already attacking us, but if they're gonna stay here, to which I think they will, then it's gonna be fine. Now, I did uh, put two extra ships into the game, Veer and Anai, and uh, Anai is pretty much a missile cruiser. Very light missile, heavy destroyer, cruiser, nearby thingy. Um, if you note, the engine here is at the back, and this is because this is actually a pretty old ship, and back then it was steam engine back here. But ever since then, well, it had to go. So uh, we now have standard propulsion and as well as laser munition system, which is not that good on this ship. 200 millimeter smoke gun, and at the front we have 200 millimeter um, AP firing gun. So um, it does have some gun power, but missiles are the things that it goes through. And you can see medium missiles here and couple of large missiles here um, and that's pretty much all of it not particularly fast it's actually I think one of the slowest ships we currently have in the fleet on the other hand Weir is slightly bit later invention with these 160 millimeter guns um, currently fighting the lightning hood is gonna be a pain in the ass it's not because of the lasers, it's because of their missiles. They have a lot of missiles. And these guns are pretty much designed to shoot missiles down. Now, why 160 millimeters? Because smaller guns tend not to work all that well. Yeah, the guns do have a problem when they try to shoot missiles down. They, are, they are somehow cannot decide what missiles to shoot for and pretty much just wiggles guns back and forward. Which means that if the guns do not possess enough damage to shoot down missiles, then it's kind of pointless. So 160 millimeters is kind of what I found to be one of the smaller caliber guns that you could use for this purpose. And they kind of work. Uh, they still often will wiggle. So that's still a problem, but uh, hopefully they're gonna work well enough to relieve some of the damage to our vessels. Um, so yeah, we're gonna pretty much start the battle here. Ooh, one small thing. Beside Veer, none of our ships have smoke defenses. <laughs> yep. How much am I underestimating the lasers? <laughs> okay, let's... Um, we have a Tarawat, a Sea Raptor, another Sea Raptor, a Mantis, Ohm, Daga, Hippatos, and Solaris. Ooh. Receiving. That's all. Uh, Receiving. Plenty of missiles. <laughs> plenty of missiles. Receiving. Um, Receiving. Yeah, and I, you gonna have to be on the top. Uh, just. Receiving. Because uh, we're gonna need Receiving. your missiles in this battle. We definitely gonna need missiles. So you be back here. Um, Receiving. Yeah. Receiving. There is Receiving. no perfect composition here because, um, well, lightning hoods have very fast ships, so I'm guessing they're gonna go straight in between our formation here. So that's not gonna be. Very well. Uh, anything that's in the water gonna be taken out by torpedoes anyway, so yeah, torpedoes are out. Let's see. Oh, look at those missiles. The number of missiles. The question is will our guns actually shoot them down to any extent of the world? Uh, well, not really. Oh, one of them. Yeah. We don't need them to perfectly shoot down every single missile there is, but even shooting down just a couple is going to seriously deter a lot of damage from our bigger vessels, and that's what I'm pretty much hoping for right here. And 
Oh, Hippatos is in the water. Yeah, th there are some vessels, um, especially flying ones, that currently have issues staying in the air. Apparently Hippatos is one of them. Unless we of course hit him really really hard at some point. I doubt that. 85-84% yeah. We are doing actually significantly better than what I was expecting. Oh. Well, computer wise we are in a degraded mode. <laughs> so we are not doing it that well in that direction but good enough with everything else. Oh, uh, we're gonna get hit by torpedoes. A uh, lots and lots of torpedoes. Even though our laser munition seems to be just capable enough of shooting a lots of them down, I'm not that sure. Yeah, nope. Nope, nope, nope. We're just. The laser munition at the moment, as I said, it's slightly borked when it comes down, so it does shoot down missiles. Uh, don't get me wrong, it just. No way as powerful as it once were um, so uh, this sort of a wall is yeah they're gonna hurt they're gonna hurt us a lot uh, yeah even though this is like the initial volleys are the scary ones after that having one missile at a time it's not that scary but it's still gonna do us a lot of harm yeah, that all of those are just passing through. But we managed to kill Sea Raptor, right? I'm guessing. Yeah, the Sea Raptor is down. That's good. And their uh, Terawatt. Yeah, it's, uh, it's taking some damage. Hippatos is uh, sank itself. As I said, ships some apparently do have problems with themselves. The Terawatt is... Uh, it's doing fine. Even though it's running low on ammo. That's a nice thing to see. How much ammo do they have? Sea Raptor also sinking. Mantis is practically unhurt. Let's see. The Terawatt does have particle cannons, but uh, they've all been taken out. Is yeah, particle cannons are not that scary, simply because they miss way too often. So, yeah, that's that. Particle cannons, um, they can go through everything, there is no particular defenses against them, but they do miss a lot. They're not very reliable weapons. And we don't use them as the end result. Haha! -ha. On the other hand, missiles are very, very uh, accurate weapons. <laughs> oh my god, the OMG actually took quite a lot of damage there. All of its side guns gone. One of the turret is incapacitated up as well. <laughs> yeah. That's what missiles do. And yeah, this battle's gonna be taking quite some time. Um, you can see that there is somewhat of an increase in difficulty compared to the Onyx Watch. I think we shot down everything that was in the air. So yeah, the Terawatt is the only thing that remains. Huh. Is there anything else? Nope. And the Terawatt is too damaged. Now the good thing about uh, the Lightning Hoods is their ships currently are costing gazillions. So we're gonna get a lot of material out of this one. Or at least we should. I'm not that sure. Let's see. Oh, come on. Health below 80% and sinking. Uh, come on, die. Alright, battle finished. 42,000 material from a single ship. <laughs> okay, let's pull all. Up. And let's see how much material. Yeah. We have a lot of material. Listening. Good. Moving Good. Receiving. We're also going to need now. an extra satellite. Moving now. Receiving. Moving now. And Receiving. come on. Moving now. We're going to have Receiving. to also repair some of our vessels now. because well, we took damage. These should all be sea Water mode at your service. Uh, 
that was a bit loud. Okay. Can you move? Moving now. Nope. Play in, play out, move. All right. We are uh, play in, play out. Yep. Moving now. It's working now. Let us construct another satellite while we wait uh, for our vessels to get into positions. Uh, load vehicle. Yeah, they made this. Oh, this is so. We would also need another refinery ship, but we can wait with that one. Repair all, pull all. And here is the satellite. Oh! Yeah, the lightning hooks only took this one, and now they're returning the forces back. Huh. Okay. Moving out. Bit odd. Of oh, we're getting attacked by another thing. Okay. Where are you? Katoda, dagger, dagger. Oh, that's. OMG, we're... I don't think we're gonna need that many ships into this battle. Um, the Katode is, however, very, very big ship, so... Real, I don't think we're gonna need them. Vera and Pira... I just put Veras in it as well. Let's see. Katode is very big. It's, I think, the one of the biggest flyers in game. Something like 20,000 or so volume, so uh, yeah, that's its thing, I'm guessing. Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, it would be better if we get Pira into the game simply because uh, missiles. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, the Katoda. How big is it? 18,000. Yeah, near 20,000. Of course, it already lost a lot of volume at this point. And all the missiles in the world. Oh, yes. The Katode is not gonna be staying around for prolonged periods of time, I'm guessing. And the missile volley wasn't that bad. Usually the Katode does carry more missiles, but apparently a lot of them got disabled. And it's too damaged, so that's good. Oh, and the solar is both dead. Yeah. Katoda is dead, the Solarises are both dead. Well, this battle was relatively quick. I mean, we outnumbered it by a fair amount, so... Good on our part. I think this is how we will fight most of these battles, especially early on. Um, fighting uh, the lightning hoods on their own terms. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, Kabir, you have to go down here. OMG, go down as well. Rills, I don't think we're gonna use Rills for that much longer. Uh, they're gonna be just completely superseded by the Weirs. Where is the wheel? Oh, here we are. Let's duplicate one. Uh, duplicate it. And... Repair. Can we repair it quick enough? I doubt that we can. 70, 80, eh? Yes, we can, okay. Okay, we're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to place them later on. Um, we can also repair the ally here very quickly. IMGs. Repair. 13 material. Yeah. 80 seconds still remaining. Yeah. We can start this battle. 245. Uh, Rails. As I said, we're not gonna put them in. Satellite is no point in putting him in because. Oh. Okay. So, OMGs. Way at the back because you're gonna be the target here. Whereas, kind of in front of you. And then VS, both of you. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, 
that. No. Let's put it like that. Yeah. I'm not really sure how many ships we're gonna get into this one. Yeah, one OMG is not in the game and Piras are not in the game. Oh my god. Slow down. Immediately. Oh. Is it the... That's the Tachyons, aren't they? Yeah, the Tachyon. Oh, look at the missiles. Holy cripes. No way we're gonna... S OMG? You're gonna be repairing for a long, long time after this one. <laughs> that missile barrage is... yeah. That's what I hope that Virs will prevent us from getting hit by... Eh, but nope. I placed them somewhat poorly in this battle. I mean everything that's in the water gonna be taken out by torpedoes, right? So the only thing that are real problem here is pretty much the Tachyon. That's the pain. What are you guys? Oh. Apparently you guys are not very well functioning. Which is good. Well, the Tachyon took some damage. Alright. I really would like to get the Tachyon out. It's one of the more dangerous vessels in the game. And missiles are hard trying to catch it. Somewhat unsuccessfully, I'm guessing. Uh, well, the, it's getting hit by stuff. Clearly can see that, but... Uh, missiles are apparently not the ones thing that is, is capable of catching it completely. Oh, well, Beluga Elite, I'm guessing. Yep, that went down. Solaris are still flying. Quite surprisingly. I mean, it's not surprisingly because all the missiles are attracted to the Tachyon, so. Uh, yeah, that's the real problem with the Tachyon. Look at the amount of missiles it's firing. Hopefully, it hits it. Come on, get yourself hit. Nah, of course, it won't do it. Yeah, Virus, you, you would need to be someplace else rather than way over here. Uh, yeah, I seriously misplaced them before the start of this battle. Oh, yeah. Ohms have seemed to have... Yeah, they ha they're still haven't moved, so I'm guessing they have some problems with their AIs. Our Solaris are still somewhat intact. Dagger... Eh. Tesla... Another Solaris... <gasps> Tachyon is in the water! <laughs> oh god gracious, Tachyon is in the water! Yes! We want to take this guy out as much as... as quick as possible because... You saw all those missiles. Oh yeah. You're very, 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 very annoying. But we have taken 25% damage. OMG. Oh yeah. That's, that's the missile volleys. That's the missile volleys that I was afraid of. Solaris. Yeah. You're gonna get hit sooner or later, I'm guessing. There are a couple of Solarises. I'm not that concerned about them. What are you? You must have Megavolt. You must have lost something. Firing the laser into nothingness. Okay. Well, Varas are repairing. So that's good. Each other. We're using their guns. These guns might be good for shooting down missiles, but um, actually doing damage, they're not that great. The, their damage is still incredibly low. The flag damage on smaller guns is very, very, very little. So, oh my god. 
really? Okay, the Terabot is in the game. I'm guessing now everybody gonna focus on that one. Twitch, yes please. Please do focus on it. All the missiles. Oh, come on, Weir, shoot down the missiles. Missiles, they're the dangerous ones. No. I'm guessing it's trying to, yeah, it's trying to shoot some of them down, but that was way too late of a reaction. Okay, more enemy ships are out of the battle. Okay. Oh, the island also spawned in. Well, we're gonna have to deal with it later. It's not something we can hope our ships to multiple engage at the same time. Oh, come on. Yeah, the Terrawat uses this engine that is now already destroyed completely. <laughs> it uses the, the jet engine at the back end. And that actually gives it quite a lot of speed, but um, yeah, if it gets blown up like that, nope, no speed at all. <laughs> okay, uh, well, most of the planes are also getting taken out one by one. The Solaris is all out. Oh, at this point I should mention, wheels are actually uh, set up to shoot the smaller things around first. Which I guess they're doing. I mean, they're clearly shooting at this Solaris up here. And... They're shooting the houses up as well, which, of course, they're relative small houses, so... I guess that's okay. <laughs> okay, Terawatt is too damaged. But our ships are shooting, cross-shooting each other. And that's not good. Um, jeez, have quite a lot of firepower and we have no shields. Do take note, not a single one of our ships have any shields on them. <laughs> so this may actually... Th it's not good when they're cross like that, shooting each other. That's... we pretty much cleared all the enemy forces. Really? Yes, we cleared all the enemy forces. And everything here is uh, dead or too damaged. Yeah, the house is not really uh, a concern here. One thing that is going to be concerned very quickly, however, is that white flares are allied to the lightning hoods. So, um... I'm not really sure when they will declare war on us, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna declare it before we're done with the lightning hoods. So we're gonna have to start building new, better, bigger ships to deal with this existential threat on multiple fronts. Okay. Uh, well, one of the wheels managed to land itself. Yep. The houses. Oh, come on. Kill it off already. Alright. Too damaged. Missiles for the rescue. Oh, wait. Is there another one? Yeah. There is another one. Ah. Thanks to all the flak, I could barely see there is another. Sh the flak does have actually one disadvantage, and when it explodes on a target like that. It can push missiles away, or even destroy them, so, um, yeah, that's why missiles are not that good at hitting these houses, because of all the flag flying. Alright, another battle finished. Up. Full all. Okay. Yeah, 400 material, I don't think we really need it. You, on the other hand, you have to start repairing. How much? Thousand repair cost. Yeah, that's that's the price you pay if if you get hit by one of those missiles barrages. Uh, 
On the other hand, are the other ships on damage at all? So that's good. So yeah, uh, um, OMGs are pretty much doing their job by being massive tanks for the rest of the team. <laughs> even though we're gonna need, I'm guessing, even a bigger tank than that. And of course, we're gonna have to uh, change how that plays. Give me a second. Uh, we're, 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 okay, here you are. Because they are, if we spawn them like this, they're gonna pretty much destroy one another. So, just to be on the safe side, side when I forget yeah I will forget once and just spawn them in and then they're gonna blow up and I'm gonna what? and of course you know let's try and avoid that sort of situation so yeah moving them in advance good idea relationship plus six uh, suspicious ten yeah, they might be suspicious. They're gonna declare war on us at some point. Okay, Veers, yet again, go forward. Once we're done with this style, I don't think that the rest of them are all that bad. So, yeah, on, only this couple of tiles here have 200 plus forces and the rest is not that bad. And I can go forward. Oh, we are on Vera. I didn't know that. Okay, like that. And let's start the battle. Okay. This, this is gonna be pretty much the final battle for today. Uh, Hippato, Sea Raptor, Scorpion, Terawatt. Yeah, I pre I just saw the Terawatt before. Hydrovolt, um, Hydrovolt. That's a submarine. That's not gonna be an issue. <laughs> Submarines at the moment are a bit... Uh, how should I put it? Not really all that great. Simply because the torpedoes are that strong. Yeah. Oh my god, what the hell is with my mouse? Doing odds pass me around. But we have everything placed. Yet again, I don't think we're gonna get one of the OMGs. Yeah, one of our OMGs does require way more. Yikes! That, that's, that's the damage I tried to avoid there. Torpedoes into each other broadside. Hippatos, as we remember, you have problems by staying in the air, right? Yeah. Sea Raptor, yeah, there is the. I forgot what your name is. I really did. Hydrovolt, yes. I remember that note. Hydrovolt is less remembered, but it looks cool. I gr granted it, it looks cool. And it does use particle cannons. But yeah, submarines in general are not that great. Really? OMG was disabled there? Oh, that's, that's bad. That's actually really bad. Because you have to move. There will be another OMG that's gonna spawn right on top of you and that's bad. That's, that's worse than this. Taking damage, fine. Uh, getting yourself wrecked by your own ship, that's way worse. And... Oh, sea Scorpion. Yeah, took a lot of damage there. And the torpedoes and the missiles. As you can see, laser munition does not seem to work all that well. Oh, Hippatos is in the water yet again. We learned our lesson. That thing does not fly well. <laughs> Terawatt is uh, looking injured, but I'm not really sure how badly. Only 10%. Oh, it's the Hydrovolt, yeah, it's not gonna take him long. I mean, he just needs to get focused by our torpedoes and it's gonna be dead. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, the Terrawalt, I'm guessing it lost its missile capability, yeah. 
lots of it, so that's gonna become way more manageable. On the other hand, you do have a lot of torpedoes, don't you? Beside your particle cannon, which is out of action. Yeah. See, that's why it's it's not very favorable to have submarines. The torpedoes are just not getting stopped. And they do quite a lot of damage, even though this thing has a shit ton of heavy armor all around it. I don't think it's gonna survive all that well. And you two are... Um, oh yeah. As I said before, you spawn right on top of one another. Which at the same time is really bad, but you are also repairing each other, so that's good. Oh yeah. And the number of torpedoes going for the terawatt, yeah. That's quite a lot of torpedoes. <laughs> yeah, it's been taking some of the engines out. So that's gonna be good. What's not good is getting hit with all the missiles. Uh. Oh no, 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 that's really bad. Well, it's sustained by repairs, so... But pushing each other down like that is really, really bad. You, and you try to reverse. Try to reverse. Uh, yeah, we don't want you to sink because of this stupidity. Alright. Well, both of the MG is now back operational, even though um, none of them has any of the guns <laughs> functional anymore. <laughs> That's... Uh, Getting hit by all of those EMP missiles and torpedoes, not good. Not good at all. Hydro is still at 85%. I would like torpedoes to go and target it for a moment. They're just... I'm guessing that until the terror doesn't go down, uh, that's not going to happen. Well... We have not lost anything else, yeah. Just the OMGs are super hot. The rest are doing fine. Yeah, well, MGs are serving their purpose as being um, a bait. I mean, they won't sink. They won't sink that easily. Even though, you know... <laughs> if they spawn one on top of another, yes, then they will sink. And no, you should go forward. Oh, it's trying to reverse it again. That's not good. Yeah, it's just trying to reverse. I have no idea why. Oh, for crying out loud. Ah. Yeah, that's... Oh my god, no. Really? What have you done to me? Battle finished. Really? We are done with this one? I guess we are. Okay. Yeah, OMGs took a lot of damage there. And they're still taking damage. I'm guessing these are morally... Yeah, friendly torpedoes. Oh. The amount of damage we're taking is... Yeah. More, for friend more from friendlies than from enemies. But yeah, well, this is gonna be it for this show, and see ya!